give a shout out to Eminem Rails. Earlier today, they gave a shout out to me. Doubled my subscriber count. So I want to return the favor and thank them publicly. Their link is down in the description. Check them out. He's got some really good videos and I've learned a lot from watching them. I got a Pike Stuff Kit Basher Kit Basher series, a small engine house. I am you know slowly gluing it together and building it. Uh, I've got the doors on, my, two of my side panels, another one glued together and drying. Just stuck my hand in some super glue. Got my front. Got double windows that are going to end up right there. I've got my sign glued on. I've got a bigger sign and logo on the back of the building. All that glue should try dry clear. I will check in again when I make some more progress. So I picked up this chassis, uh, no shell, in a collection of shells on eBay. Uh, the previous owner threw it in because the engine didn't work, or the whole thing was shot. Took it apart, and other than desperately needing to be cleaned, couldn't really find anything wrong with it. Um, so, upon further investigation, I took it apart, took the engine out, windings are still good, nice and clean. The uh, contacts with the brushes need to be cleaned. When I plugged in the motor, it did nothing but uh, smoke and not move. This is one of the brushes. A little piece of brass or copper. Never really paid attention to what it is. But that's what it should like look like. That's the one I pulled out of it. It was jammed in there, which will be the reason for the motor smoking. So I'll cut down a new piece, put it back together, give it a desperate cleaning, and I will have another chassis to find a shell for. <clears throat> As for some other projects I got going on, this is my observation car. I am almost done painting it. I want to zoom in real quick. It's got, flip it around, it's got some passengers. Bought some seated passengers and glued them in there. I'm not sure who she's talking to. It's like she's leaning forward to talk to somebody, but there's nobody there to talk to. Eventually, I will get some more people in there. He is finished painting, finished painting, finished painting, finished painting. So the nice guys are all ready to go back together. And that is, um, I've got these two dummies. Um, purchased them off eBay, just need to clean them up. They're in great shape. I have a motor. Probably going to turn him into a full locomotive. Just got to get some, uh, find some trucks with gears on them because he's actually in real great shape. That's going to stay as dummy. So I also have this police station um, that I picked up on eBay and a lot of other buildings. It was the only one that was damaged during shipping. Nothing too bad that can't be fixed. Um, but I'm going to take the time to do a little bit of customizing on it while I got it up here. Going to make a little sign, uh, police station name, fix a flag. Um, maybe get a bench or two. Something. But just do a little to, to give it a little bit of updating before I put it back on the layout. And I'm going to change the name of that. Although I find it funny that there's a bail bondsman in the police station. Now I will send you. <coughs> now that I sneezed, I will send you down to the layout. So here we are. 
back at the layout. I've done a little bit of work since the last time I showed you. Biggest thing is if you can notice all my ground throws are in. I still got to do three remote switches back there because I don't like climbing over stuff to get them. But everything up done here is done. All I got left to do is to wire the individual tracks and hook them up to my temporary switch panel. So I'll be able to turn power on and off to each one of those tracks. At some point, I will take this and this and merge them in to one uh, control panel for the entire layout. So, I also want to show you the first custom built building for my layout. I showed you earlier in the video as I was building it. It's now complete. Complete with blurry safety poster that I found on uh, uh, Google. But it's got the logo and name on the back. It fits beautifully right over the end of my maintenance track. Uh, my police station is going to go here. The rest of the town is going to be built out that way. I'm going to have an industry over there and kind of a second half of a town or a different town on that side of the layout. Uh, up next is remote switches powering these tracks, which I uh, will have done tomorrow, hooking them up to the switch box. And then we'll also be pulling these two switches off the, the layout to repair them and modify them just like these. I'm gonna switch around my camera, turn off the trains real quick, and I will show you a little bit of a close up what I did with those. So these are all Atlas switches that I bought off of eBay. Um, I ended up buying, I think, five right and five left switches, and they're actually in pretty bad condition. And I had prematurely stuck them on my layout to the point where they were derailing trains. I had to take them apart pretty, pretty far and repaired them. A lot of new glue. Um, one thing I did, but I'm glad I did it, I used some balsa wood to make custom little switch platforms, and it just works so much better for me, and you'll hardly notice them after I ballast my track and everything. So all that is, is two strips of balsa wood going lengthwise, and another one going widthwise to make up the difference and it gives a real sturdy platform. Also have another new addition to the layout in addition to my building. It's a nice little steam engine I got for my kids. They wanted it and they run this thing almost relentlessly since it showed up. Right now it is uh, hiding in the maintenance shed. So it gets a little break. So anyhow, Got to do some better lighting down here. That's it for the layout. See you guys on the next video. Stay tuned after the video. I got bored. There's a blooper.